adding your value in terms of process FME, process failure mode and effects analysis, which is a fantastic prevention tool, proactive tool. Very unfortunately, not properly understood by most of the organizations. Commendations to companies like CRI Pump Climate Tool who are using such tools in the, the rightest spirit. In process of me, we will be touching upon potential failure modes. A success of any FMEA starts with capturing all the requirements properly and also arriving at potential failure modes in a systematic way wherein many companies or most of the companies are missing out. Let us take an example of a sheet metal process. Sheet metal process the part is getting manufactured. An example is shown here. Not the exact part, an example. Generally, the team, the FME team, may not miss inner diameter ID, outer diameter OD, or the width, width or height. But what are all the other possible failure modes? hidden out in this particular part. Again, if the part, the process are not properly understood, we cannot arrive at meaningful failure modes. Missing of failure modes is quite dangerous. Other than ID, OD and width, what are all the other possible failure modes? We could say pole circularity. Circularity as we know is a geometrical dimension which is not generally considered in FMEs. The second one would be dishing. Dishing is generally mentioned in the drawings as maximum permissible. What is the maximum permissible dishing? That has to be considered as another important parameter where from we have to arrive at failure modes. The third one is wrinkles. In a sheet metal pressing process, wrinkles is another failure mode. Circularity may go in excess is a failure mode. Dishing may cross the maximum threshold limit is another failure mode. Similarly, more wrinkles is also a failure mode. What could be the fourth one? Any guess? Out of flatness is also another important thing we have to consider. If that exceeds the maximum permissible threshold limit, it will become another potential failure mode. Again, this is also a geometrical dimension. The fifth one would be pitch excess variation. Variation is omnipresent, one cannot avoid, whereas excess variation may become another potential failure mode. What is the pitch here? Please see the component. In this component, pitch is the distance between this hole and this hole. Again, from this hole to the next small hole. Pitch excess variation itself is another potential failure mode. The sixth one would be radius. We have to consider the radius. Radius may become excess. Radius may become in the lower side also. Both are to be considered as failure modes. So from one particular requirement, we may have to consider two important failure modes. The seventh one would be burr free finish. This is one important requirement. If the burrs are in excess, it is going to be harmful, which has to be considered as another important failure mode. So over and above ID, OD and width, the team has to consider other important parameters, seven excess parameters, all have to be considered and they have to be converted into suitable failure modes. This is how the power of FME should be properly understood. Hope you added value to you. Thanks. We will be in touch. Bye-bye.